Uh, we move to the Cape now, where the much-anticipated Lomarans King Plate, I hope I'm saying that correctly, is taking place in the Mother City. It's the first equestrian, that's horse riding, event for the year to take place at the Kenilworth Race Course and is rated as one of the top horse racing events internationally, which attracts thousands of people from all over South Africa and beyond. Nasipi Same has more from the Cape. First equestrian uh, event uh, for uh, the year of 2023 and one of the biggest social uh, events or rather social events on the calendar um, for not only Cape Town but the country. To talk to us more about this prestigious horse racing event, I'm joined by Catherine Gray here. Thank you so much for your time. You're looking Thank you. lovely. Thank you so much. Talk to us about the history of the King's Play. Lormoran is so fortunate to be associated with a race like this. It's in its 162nd year of running this year, and we have a very, very strong tie to the United Kingdom and the royal family. So Queen Victoria actually donated a silver plate and 500 sovereigns 162 years ago. 19 years ago, Lormoran identified this race and knew that it needed some support and for 19 years we've made it into a blue and white affair and have continued with the tradition. Of course it has been the Queen's Plate for the past 70 years but keeping in line with, with tradition that's why we're the Lomar and King's Plate this year. And the theme um, for a long time actually it has been a white and blue. The reasons behind that? So Lomaran as title sponsor, it's an estate outside Franschhoek and it's home to the Franschhoek Motor Museum, Antoni Rupert Vayner and also Drakenstein Stud Farm. So they all live together on this beautiful property out in Franschhoek and as a group they decided to sponsor this race day. The racing silks of Drakenstein Stud Farm are blue and white so it seemed like a very natural fit when Mrs. Rupert and her team were brainstorming what this was going to become. Blue and white just seemed like a very obvious choice and people have really subscribed. As you look around you'll see really nobody is not in those colours so it's really really wonderful that people have supported that theme as they have. I mean obviously during the COVID period in terms of drawing in the numbers that you were pulling before COVID was obviously a challenge but do you at least have an estimate how many people you're anticipating today? I know some A-listers will be here. Um, talk to us about the number of people coming in today. So of course as you say a two-year hiatus with COVID we were racing behind closed doors in 2021. Last year restrictions changed last minute so it was a small event but this year People have come back in their numbers and we're so grateful for the support. So I think we'll probably be about 5,000 on course this year, which is really, really good. We've never been a huge event and we've always really focused on giving every single person who buys a ticket a good experience, that they're not going to have to queue, that they will be able to see the racing, find a seat. So those numbers really work for us and we're so grateful for the support. First race being the ladies, um, first time also for this prestigious uh, horse racing event. Talk to us about the Okapi Ladies International. As you say, so exciting and the winners just come through. It's the first ladies international race in South Africa and it's a wonderful group of women who have been training. They're amateur riders, they've been training for the past few months. They're sponsored by various owners and they've come together to just run this race. And um, I saw Amira Rusike won and also in that um, winning prize is from Lomoran, 100,000 rand for that female jockey to donate to any horse related charity that they would like. So we're really just trying to push support into the racing industry and of course just bring more women to the sport. Catherine, thank you so much for your time. I will leave this interview at, 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 at this point so you can enjoy uh, the event. But we heard from Catherine there giving us not only the history of um, this prestigious horse racing event, but also talking about how not only uh, making way for women within this race, taking into account how male-dominated it is. Um, and we just saw the first race of the Okapi Ladies International. And later on, we will be speaking speaking to the winning jockey there.